TIFU by asking for help after passing out on the road. I'm honestly not even mad. Just embarrassed. I was driving down the street at around 6.10 p.m. It was a busyish road with sidewalks and traffic lights. Basically I'm driving and start to get dizzy. I pull over and put my blinkers on. I get out. Take a few steps which usually help me overcome my nausea in the past. But instead I immediately pass out. I deal with iron issues and am usually dehydrated. But on the outside I look like a typical healthy person. Anyway. I pass out and wake up literally in the middle of the road with cars driving around me. Some of them were even speeding to pass by me. I don't remember passing out in the middle of the road. But there I was. I wake up and immediately try to flag someone down for a few minutes to which people around me just stare as if I'm a demon on steroids. At this point I might as well have died on the road. I'm so disappointed. Eventually I give up. Get in my car and collect myself. I understand how the situation could look sketchy. And the world doesn't revolve around me yada yada. But there's a person laying in the middle of the road alone what if they got hit by a car even deer get people to stop and call animal control if they're hit by cars where i'm from i guess it just blows my mind because i'm definitely the type of person to help or even investigate in these situations but damn i might as well have been roadkill tl dr i passed out and no one helped me i expected it to say the least but I am still nonetheless disappointed in humanity. I was just telling my sister tonight about how everyone seems so desensitized to everything this day and age. A man was killed by a car down the road last night and traffic was being routed around. They had a tarp over his midsection and not his head, legs and I just was in shock and had no words. My friend didn't seem to even care and like all the other drivers just kept slowing down to see the body and someone went as far as to post a picture in our community Facebook group and saw no issue with it. I personally don't know if I would have stopped as a female, but would have at least called for help or pulled over in my car and tried my best I'm sorry nobody did the same to you. You need to get that under control as you risk injuring someone or yourself. Almost did. And run the risk of losing your license. Iron supplements shouldn't be that expensive and drink some Gatorade regularly. That sucks that this happened to you. I don't know if it helps at all to know this is exactly the type of thing people are warned about. And genuinely can be a method used to carjack people. One example https www.google.com slash amp slash s slash six abc.com slash amp slash hitadrun christmas day carjacking victim carjack slash one one three nine eight eight two three slash i don't know how long you were out for but i'd hope someone at least called it in maybe they did but the ambulance didn't have time to reach you before you were on your way i hope you're doing better I have iron issues. Drip dry shirts. That's the answer. I've not done ironing for years. Being more serious. If someone looks like they're on fentanyl or mephedrone, I'm going to think twice before stopping to help them. And that's the problem with dizziness resulting in passing out. It can look like that. Why would you get out of the car? Question mark. Whenever something like this happens, call someone immediately in your emergency contact list because you can't just expect a stranger. Will help a stranger. Trust issue. I don't know where you are from, but sometimes people are too scared to approach. People apparently in danger because of scams and crime. Don't ever take people help for granted. It's always a blessing when it happens not a normal behavior i'm really sorry that happened to you i hope if there is a next time that you're treated with more care and everyone should carry narcan even addicts deserve compassion and a chance 
So, do you actually look like you use steroids? Yikes. That's scary. It's hugely disappointing too. Next time just stay in the car and call 911 or emergency contact. But 100 pictures were taken of you. Welcome to the 21st century. Next time don't get out of your car. Consider getting iron supplements and drink more water? If you're dehydrated then drink more water. Everyone is always going around drinking just coffee, beer, soda, etc. and then getting dehydrated because not enough actual water content or it goes through your system faster because of caffeine or alcohol. I used to do this more myself and it's a hard habit to break. Now I'm down to usually one or two sodas a day and trying to drink more water and juices instead of syrupy stuff as much. Keep some bottled waters in your car in case of situation like this as well. Just in case. It also sucks no one tried to help or call for help as far as is known. People can really suck sometimes. They are more likely to take your picture. This is terrible. I'm sorry this happened to you. I'd say that maybe you should treat be a wake-up call for you. If you know that you're chronically iron deficient and dehydrated, you need to take steps to address it on a daily basis. Especially if you're driving often. Midwest problems. Yay. It's sad to see all the videos where someone wrecks and nobody stops. Sorry this happened to you. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.